Let's harvest some uh, mulberries. They've been ready for a couple of weeks now and they're still green. So this is the white uh, fruiting mulberry. And we have four of them in here. So this is the biggest one and it has the biggest fruit. And I think it's the same as the one that's uh, not doing so well because of its location. This is the male uh, mulberry. So it's good for mulberry tea and uh, pollination. But I'll have to trim this quite a bit. This is the uh, red fruiting mulberry. Uh, the size is pretty small, but they're sweet. It's uh, about half of the white one. And this one is a little weird. Uh, this one is a, uh, let's see here, black fruiting. So this is a black fruiting one. So uh, it has both uh, male and female flowers. And it actually tastes pretty good. Uh, the berries are small, kind of similar to the uh, red fruiting one, a little bit bigger. So this one is the red fruiting. They're tiny, but they're sweet and they're quite ready. They have really good um, mulberry flavor, but they're tiny. Uh, we have a um, bare root and they're so ripe they're just falling off so if you if you just touch them a little bit they kind of fall off so one way to harvest this is put a tarp at the bottom and just shake the tree and uh, that's probably the best way because if you look on the ground there's a lot Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, tropical um, mulberry back in the Philippines. Um, they have that kind of, well, at least the one we didn't have when our neighbor did. And I remember they have a slight uh, tangy taste to it, but they're sweet. So, and I, if I remember this correctly, the fruit since this is their second year uh, fruiting. So this is their third year in ground, second year fruiting. They're a lot sweeter than last year. And even though some of them are tiny, um, some of them got decent size. I mean, not, you know, probably take <laughs> five or 10 of these to make one Pakistan. Uh, fruit but they're pretty good so what they lack in size they make up in numbers so I'm just gonna kind of keep harvesting here for a bit yeah, while taking some videos um, we have other mulberries in the back we have a uh, bird uh, planted mulberry um, probably has the same size fruit as the uh, white mulberry but this one um, it's a female so the one the wild planted one um, whoa okay never mind I so the berries here are almost the same size as the uh, You can see it right here. They're almost the same size as the uh, white brooding ones. So they do get big depending on their uh, location on the, uh, or uh, where they're growing or where they flowered near the ends right here. So let me grab a few of this. Uh, 
All right, so. All right, so they're same size. So the one I've been harvesting are these tiny ones. So they have a potential to get bigger. Let's see the, uh, yeah, there you go. All right, so the bigger it gets, the it develops a slightly larger, I guess, fruit set. Yep, and this all organic. I don't spray anything. Fertilizer is just broken down oak leaves. All right, it's probably a, if I harvest all this, there'll be like a plate full right now. All right, here we go. Yeah, slightly bigger. All right, so this one is actually a little bit smaller than the one I harvested at the top right there. So let's compare this to uh, the uh, white one. So this fruited first, so it's not quite ready, but let's use this for comparison. All right, it's not as big as, uh, and look at the stain on my hand right here. This thing you gotta be, watch out for mulberries. Don't come here or dress all white. All right, so that's the one from the red. This is one from the uh, white fruiting one. And uh, this is... Uh, so this is a slightly bigger one. And let's see, there should be some more here. Okay, and they just fall off. You lightly tug them and yeah, you just gotta watch out. So I think I'm probably gonna put a turf here and uh, just shake them. And there's quite a bit, uh, they're just falling off the ground. So if you don't harvest them, so far the birds haven't found them, which is good. They're super sweet. The one with the slight reddish, it's still sweet. You get a little bit of a sourness to it, but overall they're very sweet. It's an insect on that one. So that's... <laughs> I eat them with the twig. All right, so this is the three-year-old um, this is the white fruiting mulberry. And there's still tons of fruit to ripen. So they just walk real quick to the, uh, I'm just getting distracted here. So I'm supposed to go to the, uh, To the Pakistan. Okay, let's go to the Pakistan. That one's bare root, so I have it in pot. So I'm gonna transfer it over there. I think it'll have winter protection. So our blackberries right here. And these guys are going nuts. Hey, Lolo. All right, so this one has fruits, but uh, it's kind of growing and the deer got to it. So this is the Pakistan. It was bare root, probably, when was that? It's almost a month old. It put out some growth. All right, so that's our kind of mulberry fruit taste this video.